that? No more! Because guess what we made today? Oh, where did my honey drops go? Okay. Oh, we made... There's some in the ice box right now. Oh, okay. I don't know what you did with the other ones. Okay. Hey, this is not a spring chick the bikinis are. And I am so excited today because what we made today are honey drops. And you're going, oh, what's the big deal about that? Well, guess what? These are some new drops that we discovered. <laughs> yes, we found them at the 99 cent store. And then I fell in love with them because instead of just like regular cough drops, well, there's organic honey that was in them, and so they would coat your throat. So what happens is I would use them because, well, as you know, sometimes I talk a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And it's not always on, well, actually, I guess it is on camera a lot of times. But also when I'm out, I'm talking to people and interviewing people and all that stuff. And so maybe I use my throat a little bit more. Um, so anyway, these drops, I fell in love with them. Can't find them. They don't make them anymore. OK, I had this great idea that let's make our own honey drops, which we made. And I'm so excited because that is going to go away. So you'll hear it clearer. But, you know, here's the great part is, and I don't know if any of you guys, you know, run into this. Remember, we always sit there and talk about it's like, you can tell my energy level sometimes if I start talking really, really fast, or if I talk slower, kind of, yeah, it's me on, it's what is, what do we, I guess you call it adrenaline, right? Yeah. So one of the things to help balance it out is sugar, and I actually need to eat all the time. So we made these honey drops, which means Anytime I either need something for my little throat, or if I haven't eaten in a while, I can just pop in a little honey drop and help balance me out. Ooh, it's going to be better so for her than candy, which is why she's been eating, so. I'm not really a big candy eater, though. I know, but it's so when we have to get something in quick, it's like fudge or chocolate, so. Yeah, I do. I carry dark chocolate with me in the car because then um, it doesn't melt as well, either. Yeah, um, but neither does this now, so. Well, you know, part of it has to do with, I have an inconsistent schedule. Because a lot of people, they go to work, they come home, and you know, you could, so you kind of have your schedule. You know when lunch is, you know when you have a break, you know all these different things. Well, because we're out all the time, and the, our schedule changes every day. Um, we do our regular filming, and we have events or not events or um, things. And sometimes when you're going out for events, you don't always know if number one, if there's any food. Sometimes you might have an idea, um, or if there's drinks, or if you have to pay for them. Mm -hmm. So part of it is, is, or even if there is food, if you're going to get any. Mm -hmm. Right? Because who wants to eat a full dinner and go out somewhere where they're feeding you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand? So part of it is uh, I always keep some stuff with me to help balance everything out. I'm always just so excited. Okay, so you're just going to have to stay tuned. Watch us make the honey drops. And don't laugh when you see it. Okay, you'll probably laugh anyway. Um, this is my first time. I've never done anything like taffy. I've never done anything like those drops. And so... Um, yeah, but the old I guy directing has... Oh, he was confident she could do it. She was I know, well, they were really, re they really were wound up camera. about it. Because it was so simple. I know, and you can do it at home too. I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm so excited because... Well, now I have my own little honey drops, but you can do something like that, too. And, you know, so you can either learn how to make them or watch me just getting really kind of silly and excited um, doing that. But stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming to you. And this is not as much. Oh, check the bikinis are. Oh, and if you notice these glasses, oh, should I tell you about these? These are so much fun. This is a company called NYS. We got them at, um, they just sent them to me from the gifting suite. And what is NYS? Is NYS is probably like New York style. Is what it stands for. I would think so. You don't think so? I would think so, oh. yeah. Out of New York come the hottest sun. Best company with the latest styles and fashion to ever shade the planet. Start spreading the news. NYS collection eyewear. Yeah, sounds like New York style. NYS. Um, so anyway, this is, this is a great part about these aviators because aviators are classic um, sunglass style and as you know, I have a little flat nose and high cheekbones. So I actually have or as they call it, an Asian bridge. Um, kind of flat nose. Okay, so I, I have a more difficult time with glasses, and especially with the bigger glasses. These have this little nose pad on, so I can actually wear them. And actually, I think this actually style works with a lot of different people for the aviators. And what is really cool about this is 
they're not really expensive sunglasses. So this is these are sunglasses for the style. So if you notice around the frame, they look a little white. Can you tell? Yeah, like you know, she's got pink. The girls ones are the pink ones. And though. then Gwen. She likes the white ones naturally because she's she even though she wears swimsuits and elegant gowns. She doesn't like the pink glasses. Well, no, here's part of it is I was supposed to, they didn't have pink at the gifting suite. We were actually supposed to get two white pairs. One was for the cameraman yeah. um, that was with me. Yeah. Tim. Um, Tim was with me helping, that, and I was supposed to get an, uh, the second white pair. What happened was they probably thought they were for the same person, so they sent us a white pair and a pink pair. Yeah. Which would be my guess. Or they thought one was for a guy and one was for a girl. Which is a white pair for the boy and a pink pair for the girl. Okay, now here's the problem is I, of course. She wants the white pair. Well, I always wanted the white pair because that's what I asked for. So here's the problem is You're, I want the white pair. Tim's supposed to get some. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll have to go buy a white pair. Or I'll contact the company and tell them they sent me the wrong color. Hmm. But the other issue is I like these so much, of course, I want to get the white pair and the pink pair. And... My niece would probably like these too, so then I need a second pink pair. <laughs> She's spending money now. <laughs> I, I wasn't supposed to do that. You see, covering events can be very expensive. That's right. She sees something, then she goes and buys the stuff. Well, you know, you know <laughs> it, it's kind of funny because we cover um, so many events, and so people are like, well, why don't you just park? And, you know, we try not to pay for any parking because I was, I was talking to people, I said, it's really easy. When you cover multiple events, you know, just to get lazy and just take the valet parking. Well, sometimes you never know how much parking is going to cost. We try and have an idea, but like one of them um, at one of the hotels, see, because sometimes you don't know if they're validating or not validating, if they only validate for some people and not other people and whatever. So one of my friends got stuck. They had three people with them, paid thirty-five dollars times three. In other words, a hundred and five dollars for parking for one event. Okay. So doing things like that, it can be, you know. That can be really expensive. That, I told him he should have known better because sometimes when they validate, it's not a full validation. I know, am I, am I rambling? Um, but part of it is, it's just like parking, which we try and control because it's real easy to spend $50 a night on parking. Um, it's really easy when you go to events all the time and they have cool stuff. It's really easy to want them. Really easy to want them. And here's the part, okay, here's the part about NYS is these glasses are so reasonably priced that it's really easy to get a lot of pairs. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're just fun. Okay. So depending on what mood you're on or if you want to change it with your outfit. Okay. The white looks really good for summer, especially when you have crispy white. You know, there's, there's like something about the pink. Okay, and it's not just girls that are like this. Well, maybe they're more like this. I know, but you know, I think sunglasses kind of like shoes. You can never have enough. 